hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity newcomers you're so so welcome please remember to like share and subscribe today we are making this beautiful brown sweater with it has this nice ribbing at the wrist and at the bottom and it's also a pull neck good for the cold season we are in this is how the um sweater looks at the back and at the front and this is a picture of me having the sweater on it's also beautiful and this is how the ribbing at the bottom looks so let's get started i am using seagull this is acrylic yarn it's thin yarn but i'll double it to get the medium effect if you have middle weight yarn that will be perfect we're using a tape measure pair of scissors a darning needle i'll replace a darning needle with a 2.5 mm hook this is what i'll use for joining and we are using a 4.5 mm hook for crocheting we'll also need um stitch markers these are all you need for your project to begin as i said i'm doubling my yarn to get the medium weight effect you need your shoulder to shoulder measurements to get your foundation chain and i'm doing for size small and we will chain 75 chains which is equivalent to 20 inches so take your um shoulder to shoulder measurement and that will be your foundation chain right now i'm chaining 75 chains I'm done and this is my 75 chains now we want to start working on the sweater once you're done with the 75 chains chain two more chains yarn over and we want to do half double crochets that is the main stitch that we will use skip the first two stitches from the hook and on the third stitch do a half double crochet like this and you will work with half double crochets up to the last stitch Um, at the end and this is how your work should look those are half double crochets at the end you chain two one two turn your work like this yarn over and we are beginning the second row which is a row of half double crochets two we will work half double crochets from this point up to the end and we'll begin row three.
I'm at the end. Uh, we are beginning dot three, chain two, turn your work, and we are doing half double crochets all the way to the end. So that is the pattern, and we will do that until we get to 21 inches. That is the length that I want. You can have a shorter length or a much longer length which is equivalent to 25 rows so we are doing 25 rows which is 21 inches length Okay, I am done, but I did 17 inches length, keeping in mind there is also the lower ribbing, which will make it much longer. So I went with 17 inches length. Remember, you can do a longer or shorter version, depending on what you want. This is 17 inches length. And now we want to work on the shoulder part. Fold your garment into two like this. We want to work on the shoulder parts. Once it's folded into half like this, make sure they're all equivalent. We will put your stitch marker at the middle part. Just make sure it's well straightened put your stitch marker at the middle part like that and lock it down and unfold your gamut like that and now we want to measure 3.5 inches from the stitch marker to where the 3.5 inches begins that's where we'll put our second stitch marker so take your tape measure put it on the stitch marker and measure 3.5 inches and put your stitch marker at the 3.5 inches mark like that and lock it down like that and measure the other side too 3.5 inches from the stitch marker up to 3.5 inches and put your third stitch marker like that and that is how we get the measurements in our neck area once you're done, you'll remove the middle stitch marker. And now we'll have two, these two stitch markers and the space in between. Like that. Okay, now we want to work on the neckline. And we're doing double crochets. We are working from this end here up to our first stitch marker. And that's where we will turn from. As usual, we chain two to begin a new row and we are using half double crochets, the same thing you've been doing. Just that now we will work up to the stitch marker and turn your work. So do half double crochets until you get your stitch marker and I'll meet you there. We are the stitch marker. That was our last stitch of the stitch marker. So chain two, turn your work, and we begin a new row of half double crochets. The same thing you've been doing. Make sure you turn at the stitch marker and we do half double crochets until the beginning of your row. 
okay do that and i'll meet you at the beginning of the row I'm at the end of the row to begin a new row you chain two turn your work and we are doing half double crochets until we get to the stitch marker and we will do a total of three rows okay just three rows then we'll start on the other side so do your three rows and I'll meet you once you are done This is how the three rows look. These are three rows of half double crochets and they should look like that. If you count, these are three rows. Cut off your yarn and make sure your knot is well reinforced. And then we will reattach our yarn on the other side and do three rows two. We are reattaching our yarn here like that and we will do a total of three rows like this side. Remember to always turn when you get to the stitch marker. Just the same thing and it should look like this. I did three rows too on, other, on the other side. This is the back panel. Looks like this. And now go ahead and work on a similar panel like this. And it will be our front panel. And I will meet you once you have two identical panels like this one. okay i'm done with my second panel and this is how it looks similar as the first panel we'll put them away for now and start working on the sleeve area i'm just counting to make sure all the panels have the same number of rows okay so both of them are same we're going to fold this put it, put it aside and start working on the sleeves this is one of the sleeves i made it i'll show you how to make the other sleeve just like this um it has this ribbing at the end that makes it smaller at the wrist area and bigger at the arm and the hand place so let's get started to begin make a slip knot and we will do 60 chains which is equivalent to 15 inches of width this is size small for other sizes kindly take your um, arm measurements and then you'll chain up to where your arm fits for size small we're doing 15 inches that is the width of the sweater which is equivalent to 50 chains okay i'm done with my 50 chains and this is how it looks if we measure this it should be 15 inches yes that is the width okay now we want to start working on the arms we are using the same same stitch we used for the back panel and front panel which is the half double crochet 
and we are doing the dub half double crochets all through the same way we worked with the front panel and the back panel Okay, I'm at the end of row one, and this is how it looks. We want to begin row two, and always remember to chain two to begin a new row. One, two, and we are working with half double crochets all through. And we will do this until we get to 17 inches of length. My um, my hand measurements is the same as the front end back panel measurements remember it was the front and back panels were 17 inches and also the arm measurements will be long as 17 inches we are going to work like this until you get to a length of 17 inches and our width was 15 inches okay okay i'm done with my arm and this is 17 inches of length let's just measure this to confirm this is 17 inches so go ahead and make your other identical arm like this if you don't have then we will start working on the arm ribbing this is how the ribbing of the arm looks it's a total of five rows of front posts and back posts so it should be thinner on this wrist area like that and thicker on the other side so let's get started okay now we want to start doing reductions and this is how we'll do it yarn over insert your hook in the first stitch like that then come out in the second stitch like that and then we will do a half double crochet like that that is our first reduction yarn over go to the next stitch insert your hook like that come out in the second stitch like that and do a double crochet like that that is our second reduction and we'll do reductions until we get to the end the same same way okay so do reductions like i'm showing you and i'll meet you at the end of the row
okay i'm at the end and this is how our work looks we have done reductions this is how it looks your work should look like this and now we want to start a new row chain two one two turn your work and this is a row of front posts and back posts yarn over go to the first stitch skip this stitch go to the next one and do a front post like this this is how we do a front post and then you do a normal double crochet yarn over the next stitch is going to be a back post so you enter your hook from the back and we do a back post just like that and we are alternating between front posts and back posts this is a front post that i'm doing right now the next one will be a back post and we'll be alternating between front post and back posts until we get to the end okay i really hope this is clear and you're following through I'm done with row one and this is how it looks to begin row two we'll chain two this is our row one chain two to begin row two turn your work and now it's going to be easier because wherever there's a front post we'll put a front post and wherever there's a back post we'll put a back post for instance here this is the back post so we'll go in there and put a back post and the next stitch is a front post so go in there and put a front post and we'll do that until we get to a total of five rows okay i'll meet you when you have your five rows
I did a total of five rolls and this is how it looks it's so cozy and it's tight at the wrist area and this is how the inside part looks okay now we're going to cut off your yarn and make a similar panel like this one so you have two similar um, wrist areas now we come back to our front and back panels put them together we want to attach everything together now the front panels and the arms all together and I'm using my 2.5 mm hook you can use your darning needle to do this just align your work well like I'm doing and we will use either darning needle or a 2.5 mm hook like I'm using okay this is a 2.5 mm hook once your works aligned reattach your yarn like this and we will use um single crochets to join I'm reattaching my yarn then I'll use single crochets to join the front panel and the back panel together and remember we're joining at the shoulder area the three rows that we extended at the shoulder area is where we are joining and also remember to work on the wrong side you are working on the wrong side I am done and this is how it looks cut off your yarn and reinforce your knot so that your work does not run okay and we'll go ahead and also join the other shoulder part using single crochets too and I'll meet you once you have both your shoulder areas joined together this is how your work should look this is the wrong side should look like this and the right side should look like this okay so go ahead and join the other shoulder together and I'll meet you once you're done this is how my work looks I have joined both shoulder areas and this is how the right side looks now we want to join the arms lay your work flat like this make sure you're working on the wrong side okay you're always working on the wrong side and fold your arm area into two like that And we want to use a stitch marker to join this middle part to the shoulder area take your stitch marker and make sure this is the wrong side you're working on put it in the middle part of your arm area like that
and you're going to join it in the middle area of the front and the back panel which is the shoulder area as you can see they're all joined together like that this is the easiest way to know the middle part of your um front panel back panel and the arm area it's easier than measuring so once it's intact like that spread your work and we will join using single crochets just make sure your stitch marker does not move otherwise your work will not be straight make sure it's well attached like that and now we'll join here using single crochets reattach your yarn and we will join using single crochets i hope you understood if not just go back and rewatch again we will also do the same to the other arm area okay for now let's join this first then we'll work the same same way to the other arm area Okay, I'm done and this is how it looks. This is the inside part. It has this straight line and this is the outside part. It looks like that. Please make sure your work is neat. Okay, now we'll work on the other arm area. Do the same, same thing that we did to this arm area okay just flatten your work like that and put your arm make sure it's folded first it will be the middle folded like that and then we'll use a stitch marker to join then do single crochets
I went ahead and joined the rest of the parts together using single crochets and now this is how it looks the only thing remaining is the bottom ribbing and the neck line to do the bottom ribbing we will use our hook this is a 4.5 mm hook just attach it like that and we will do a row of double crochets first before we start our ribbing we attach our yarn and do a row of double crochets all round before we begin on the ribbing okay I'm at the end of row one and we will join this using a slip knot like this and then we'll chain two to begin row two and row two will be a row of front posts and back posts go in the first stitch like there and do a front post like that and the next stitch do a back post the same way we worked on the ribbing area the first row is a row of front post and back posts and the third row will be much easier for wherever there was a front post you put a front post However, there's a back post you put a back post but for now we are doing a row of front posts and back posts all round and i'll meet you at the end i'm at the end and we are joining using a slip knot this is the end of row two we are joining using a slip knot oh i had to finish up on one um back post there then join using a slip knot Once you're done you chain two and wherever there was a front post we put a front post and wherever there's a back post we will put a back post our first stitch was a front post we just put a front post our next will be a back post so we go in there and put a back post like that our next one will be a front post so we put a front post like that and we're going to work like that until you get a total of six rows i did a total of six rows at the below ribbing remember our arm ribbing had five rows but this one has six rows I'm done with my six rows and this is how it looks so so beautiful remember you can do more rows if you want or less rows now we want to work on the neck we want to put the pull neck 
on our neck area we attach our yarn like that and we will chain 26 chains one two three up to 26 chains I'm done with my 26 chains and this is how it looks. Now we want to start on our reduction. Skip the first chain, go to the next one and we are doing single crochets until we get to the bottom of our 26 chain. Always remember to skip the first stitch, go to the next one and do single crochets up to the end of our 26 chains. And I'll meet you once you're done with your single crochets. I'm at the end and now we want to do reductions, okay? So once you're here, we will skip this first stitch we want to do reductions we'll skip this first stitch here go to the next stitch there and we will do two slip stitches remember to skip that first stitch go to the next one and do a slip stitch like that that is our first slip stitch okay that's our first slip stitch and go to the next stitch and also do a slip stitch so like that and then we will turn our work skip those two slip stitches that we made and we are working single crochets in the back loop only until you get to the top okay I'm at the top and make sure we always chain one to begin a new row and we are working on single crochets in the back loop only until you get to the bottom and I'll meet you at the bottom to do our reduction. Okay, I'm at the bottom and remember we are skipping this first stitch. Go to the next stitch and do a slip knot, a slip stitch, sorry. That is my first slip stitch and go to the next one and do your second slip stitch like that. then turn your work skip those two slip stitches 
and go to the third stitch and work on single crochets back loop only until you get to the top and once you're on the top remember to chain one to begin your new row that is the pattern and we will do that until you finish the whole neck that is round and I'll meet you when we are attaching the neck together okay I hope you understand this if you're not understanding you can go back and rewatch the part that you don't understand I'm done with the neck area all round and now we want to join using single crochets the same way I've been joining together all the other parts and you're using a 2.5 mm hook if not you can use your yarning needle okay so join it together using single crochets and we will be done with our sweater Okay, do that and I'll meet you at the end. okay guys we are done and this is how our beautiful sweater looks this is how the shoulder and the neck area looks like thank you so much for watching kindly remember to subscribe write me a comment like share and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching goodbye